Hello YouTube, it's Ted and Candice. We're gonna make some high carb, low fat apple crisp for dinner tonight and you're welcome to join in with us and see how you like it. These are the apples off our tree. We picked them last night for our first snowstorm of the year. And we're gonna cut them up. They got beat up pretty bad by the hail this year. Uh, there might be an occasional worm also don't spray our tree I'm trying to be as healthy as possible so I put one cup of organic rolled oats um, in the pan and I'll put a cup and a half of water and cook these and then I'll put um, a half a cup of local honey um, and if you prefer um, you can use an organic uh, maple syrup instead of honey um, if, if you like that flavor better. We're sharing the duties of cutting the apples. Here's a good example of one of our wormy apples. We'll just cut around that. See there's a worm on the bottom, he's been busy. Cut around the edge. Apple looks good. Uh, we'll cut the skin back, put it in the compost bin. Looking good. So I'll just slice this guy up. Put them straight into the bowl. We'll fill this bowl up to put in our big pan and leave the skin on because they are 100% organic, totally under our control. Fenced around our yard, nobody sprayed nothing on it. It's going to be yummy. And of course my crew chief and helper, she always does a great job. Okay, we're done cutting these apples and so we're ready to put it all together. So I took um, some coconut oil, um, just a little bit, and spread it around in the bottom of the pan um, so it won't stick. So I just fill the pan with the apples and there's nothing else uh, with the apples, it's just apples. And I'll, they'll cook down when they're baking, so you can just um, fill it just as full as it will go, or a little more. And uh, and then um, I cooked more uh, oats than I intended to. Um, it just didn't look like it would be enough, so I doubled it. Um, there's two cups of oats. And uh, and uh, two cups of water. I still only used a half a cup of honey. Um, so I'm spreading the oats on top of the apples, um, like a crust crumble. Hopefully it'll it'll get um, crumbly or or kind of hard. Hopefully. Um, So just spreading it on top. If it doesn't get crispy, that's a bonus for me because we'll just try it again tomorrow with a new recipe. Yeah. That's our oven telling us we're up to temperature. 350 and um, I'm not quite sure how long it will cook. We'll just kind of peek at it here and there. Um, so we'll just put it in there at 350 and see how it goes. So we're back. I cut up the sink full of apples. I filled two other ones in the freezer, gallon bags of apples for later this winter. Got a heap of compost so that'll help out the garden next year. And here's what our apple crisp is going to look like. 
Not sure whether it'll be crispy or just hot and soggy. But it's all bubbly and boiling and perfect. So it was in the oven for about an hour and 20 minutes, I believe. I can't remember. Maybe it's an hour. An hour and 10 minutes. Okay. So we're going to go to Shelly's going away party this evening and should be gone about a half hour or so. Give it time to cool. We'll come back and give it a try. So here we are. We got our apple crisp is done out of the oven. It's cooled off. We're done with our going away party. We're home to give this a try. It's a little different recipe than we used before. Oh boy. Good. It does look good. Our taste buds have changed so much since going low fat vegan that it uh, didn't even occur to us that maybe somebody might like some cinnamon in here. I, I know I won't miss it. You might want to season that to your taste, but that's what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to give it a taste test. Mmm. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you. You did a good job too. Mmm. Well, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned something and if, uh, you do cinnamon or something different. Please uh, post it in the comments so other people can also enjoy your edition. Or, um, just let us know what you think. Please subscribe and hope you enjoy. Thank you. Check back and we'll have vegan pancakes next. Buckwheat with blueberries baked in them. That's my favorite. All right, we'll see you then.